close your eyes. Take a deep breath and let your senses heighten. Imagine you're at a Formula One race. The air is electric, the anticipation palpable. You can feel the excitement in the air. Suddenly, boom, the roar of engines fills the atmosphere. A wave of sound hits you. It's not just noise, it's a symphony of power and precision. But this isn't just any noise. It's a carefully crafted melody of speed and engineering. It's a raw, powerful symphony of speed. Each note, each roar, is a testament to human ingenuity. This is the sound of a Formula One car at full throttle. A sound that's music to a racing fan's ears. It's a sound that tells a story of speed, precision, and passion. The roar of an F1 engine is super special. It's a blend of art and science, a symphony that resonates with the soul of every racing enthusiast. It gives you chills, showing off all the amazing technology inside these incredible cars. Each component, each part, works in harmony to create this magnificent sound. But have you ever wondered what makes that special sound? It's not just power. It's the culmination of years of research, development, and passion. It's the science of sound, carefully shaped by engineers to get every bit of speed. The exhaust system, the engine, the aerodynamics all play a crucial role. This is the story of how Formula One exhausts make their unique and exciting sound. It's a story of innovation, precision, and relentless pursuit of perfection. It's a story of precise engineering, cool materials, and the need for speed. Every element is meticulously designed to contribute to the overall performance and sound. Get ready to explore the inside of the machine and discover the secrets of the symphony of speed. Join us as we delve into the heart of Formula One engineering and uncover the magic behind the roar. To understand the magic of the F1 exhaust sound, let's start with the basics. The exhaust system is a crucial component in any car, but in an F1 car, it's a finely tuned masterpiece. The sound you hear is not just noise, it's a symphony of engineering and precision. Think of the exhaust system as a road. Just like a road has lanes and intersections, the exhaust system has various parts that guide the gases from the engine to the tailpipe. Its job is to carry away the hot, used-up gases from the engine, these gases are the byproduct of the combustion process, where fuel and air mix to create power. This road has several parts, and each one helps shape the final sound you hear. From the headers to the tailpipe, every component plays a role in the overall performance and sound of the car. It all starts with the headers. These are the first point of contact for the exhaust gases as they leave the engine. These are pipes attached directly to the engine cylinders. The design and length of these headers can significantly affect the engine's performance and the sound it produces. Hot gases blast out of the cylinders with tons of force, going into the headers first. This initial burst of energy is crucial for the next stages of the exhaust system. From the headers, the gases flow into bigger pipes called the primary pipes. These pipes are designed to handle the high pressure and temperature of the exhaust gases. These pipes guide the gases to the back of the car. Next is the collector. The primary pipes converge here, and the design of the collector can influence the efficiency of the exhaust flow. This important part combines the gases from all the primary pipes into one giant pipe. The collector ensures that the gases flow smoothly and efficiently. It's like a funnel, making the exhaust gases flow smoothly. The smoother the flow, the better the performance and sound of the car. Finally, the gases reach the tailpipe. This is the last stage of the exhaust system where the gases are released into the atmosphere. This is the last part of the exhaust system. The design of the tailpipe can also affect the sound, giving the car its unique exhaust note. It releases the gases into the air. And there you have it, from engine to tailpipe. Every part of the exhaust system plays a crucial role in creating that iconic F1 sound. Now, here's where it gets really cool. In the high-octane world of Formula One racing, every single detail counts. From the aerodynamics of the car to the precision of the pit crew, everything must be perfect. But one of the most fascinating aspects is the exhaust system. In Formula One, even the smallest things matter. The exhaust system, often overlooked by casual fans, plays a crucial role in the car's performance. It's not just about expelling gases, it's about optimizing the flow and sound of those gases. And for exhaust sound, one of the most important things is the length of the pipes. The length of these pipes can affect not only the sound, but also the efficiency of the engine. Engineers spend countless hours calculating and adjusting to get it just right. Engineers try to make all the exhaust pipes the same length. This is no easy task, as the design of the car and the placement of the engine can make it challenging. 
But why go through all this trouble? Why? It's all about sound waves. Sound waves are crucial in determining the performance and efficiency of the exhaust system. When these waves are synchronized, they can significantly enhance the car's performance. When gases shoot out of the engine, they create pressure waves that travel through the exhaust. These pressure waves are like the heartbeat of the engine pulsing through the pipes. If the pipes are all the same length, these waves reach the collector at the same time. This synchronization is key to achieving optimal performance. This makes a clean, powerful, and smooth sound. The sound is not just for show. It indicates that the engine is running efficiently and at its best. Imagine a choir singing perfectly together. Each voice blends harmoniously, creating a beautiful and powerful sound. This is what happens when the exhaust pipes are of equal length. If the pipes are different lengths, the waves arrive at different times. This desynchronization can cause a host of problems, from reduced engine efficiency to a less pleasing sound. This messes up the waves, making the exhaust less efficient and the sound not as good. The engine has to work harder, and the overall performance of the car suffers. Imagine the choir singing out of tune. The harmony is lost, and the result is chaotic and unpleasant. This is similar to what happens with unequal exhaust pipe lengths. It's not as nice and not as powerful. The car loses its edge and the performance drops. So the next time you watch a Formula One race, remember the incredible engineering that goes into making those cars not just fast, but also perfectly tuned. We talked about equal length pipes, but what about the collector? This part is super important for shaping the exhaust sound. It combines the gases from each cylinder. The collector's design is key for a smooth flow of exhaust gases. Think of the collector as the conductor of an orchestra. It blends the sound waves from each cylinder into one beautiful sound. A well-designed collector makes sure the gases mix smoothly, preventing turbulence and back pressure. This makes the sound cleaner and more powerful. The collector's shape and size can really change the exhaust note. A bigger collector can make a deeper, richer sound. Some collectors even have special shapes inside to make the gas flow better and improve the sound. The collector shows how much careful engineering goes into making the symphony of speed. The materials used in an F1 exhaust are also super important for the sound. F1 engineers use special lightweight materials like titanium and Inconel. These materials are light and also have special sound properties that affect the exhaust note. Titanium is super strong and can handle high heat, but it also has a special resonance that gives an F1 car its high-pitched scream. The titanium pipes vibrate from the pressure waves, adding a unique tone to the exhaust. Inconel can handle extreme heat and is often used in the hottest parts of the exhaust. It sounds different from titanium, adding a deeper, richer part to the overall sound. Titanium and Inconel together create a complex and layered sound like a whole orchestra of materials. We've looked at the exhaust system, but the engine is just as important for the final sound. The engine's firing order, which is the order the cylinders ignite, really changes the exhaust note. Each cylinder firing creates a pulse of gas. The timing of these pulses, set by the firing order, makes a special rhythm that adds to the car's unique sound. A V8 engine, for example, has its own firing order and makes a totally different sound from a V6 or V10 engine. The engine's speed also changes the sound. As the engine goes faster, the exhaust pulses get faster too, making a higher pitched sound. That's why an F1 car at full throttle makes such a loud scream. The engine and exhaust work together perfectly, both contributing to the symphony of speed. Road cars and race cars are totally different. F1 exhausts are carefully engineered with special materials, making them very different from road car exhausts. Road car exhausts focus on being quiet and clean. They have mufflers and catalytic converters that make the sound quieter. Road car exhausts can sound sporty, but they don't have the raw power and complexity of F1 exhausts. F1 cars, with their open exhausts and high revving engines, make a sound that's pure and exciting. The difference is huge. Being in the F1 pit lane is an amazing experience. It's a symphony of mechanical power that gives you chills. It's a sound that shows the raw power and technology of these racing machines, a sound that makes Formula One special. The sound of Formula One has changed over the years because of engine rules and new technology. Back in the day with V10 and V12 engines, the sport was known for its super loud sound. These engines made an amazing, high-pitched wail that everyone remembers. When V8 engines came in 2006, the sound changed. 
it became a bit lower and throatier, and in 2014 Formula One started using hybrid engines, which combine a turbocharged V6 engine with electric motors. These hybrid engines are super advanced but some fans miss the loud screams of the older engines. But the need for efficiency and being environmentally friendly has led to these changes, and the sound of Formula One keeps changing with the times. The sound of an F1 car is more than just noise. It shows the careful engineering, advanced materials, and the constant push for performance that make this sport so exciting. Every crackle, pop, and scream tells a story of power, precision, and the need for speed. From the equal length pipes to the special materials and the engine's firing order, everything works together to create the symphony of speed. It's a sound that makes you feel something, a sound that shows the raw emotion and amazing technology of Formula One. So next time you hear an F1 car, think about the art and science that makes that special sound. It's a sound that captures the heart of racing, a sound that will keep exciting people for years to come.